Hey there. So today we'll be trying to figure out how we can calculate the beta of any particular stock, which is included in the Nifty 50 index or the Nifty 500 index for that matter. And how can we use beta to create a portfolio which helps us reduce our risk? The total risk that we assume while we create a portfolio, we are generally unaware about it. So how can we use the beta of different stocks to decrease our or to reduce our total risk? That is what the whole idea that we are going to discuss today. So the first thing that we need to discuss is the very basic thing that what is beta. At the end of the day, we need to know what beta is. So say for example, there is one stock, say for example, Infosys. Infosys is having a beta of one. Now, what does that imply? That implies that if the index or if the market, the equity market goes up by 10%, you would expect the stock as well to go up by 10%. At the very same time, if the index goes down by 10%, at the very same time, if the index goes down by 10%, you would expect the company to also go down by 10%. So there's a one for one relationship. Upar jate time bhi same relation hai, niche jate time bhi same relation hai. All right. Agar beta 0.5 ka hota, if the beta would have been off, say for example, 0.5, what does that imply? So if the index goes up by 10%, so if the index goes up by 10%, you would expect the stock to go up only by 5%. No doubt the upside is very less. The upside is half as what the stock is giving you. But the good part is when the index goes down by 10%, the stock would only go down by 5%. So your downside gets protected. So your downside gets protected. But yes, you have limited upside. But at the very same time, the downside gets protected. Now this is in theoretical terms. All right, generally low beta tends to show you that the risk is on the lower side all right now how can we calculate the beta of any stock for that we have this data set so from january 1 2021 to january 2 2020 we have the daily data of infosys all right the company's infosys and nifty 50 all right the index value of nifty 50 for the last one year has been put down here uh, these are the daily numbers these are the daily numbers of Nifty 50 as well as Infosys. At the very same time, the daily returns have been calculated for both of them. All right. Likewise, for Nifty 50 as well, we have calculated the daily returns. What we need to understand here is there are multiple options you have while you calculate your beta. Here I have taken the daily data. At the very same time, you can calculate beta using the weekly data or rather you can use the monthly data as well or you can go for the quarterly data as well. But here we have taken the daily data. All right. So there are many options that you can take. The second thing that the second option that you have. Yahan pe maine index use kiya nifty 50. Aap chahate to aap nifty 500 index bhi use kar sakte the. Sensex 30 bhi use kar sakte the. But try taking an index jis mein ye stock already exist karta ho. So nifty 50 mein infosys hai. So mein nifty 50 le sakta hu. At the very same time infosys nifty 500 mein bhi hai. So, I Nifty 500 bhi le sakta. It depends upon what relationship do you want to establish. Whether you want to establish the relationship of Infosys vis-a-vis -vis the Nifty 50 or you want to establish the relationship between Infosys and the entire equity market. So, you would rather go for a broader index that is Nifty 500 in that case. Alright. So, that is how it works out. We have both the daily return. If you have weekly data, you have to weekly return. If you have monthly data, you have to monthly return. Nikalna. All right. Now to estimate the beta to know how much Infosys would move given Nifty is moving by so and so percent. To do that, we'll have to use this, this particular formula of beta estimation that is covariance of stock and market divided by the variance of market. So the covariance of stock and market can be calculated in this way is equal to covariance P. They are asking us for two series here. So the first series would be of the stock EC4 shift semicolon control shift down. Again, C254 nahi le sakte hum because haan pe koi data nahi hai. So C253 pe ruk jayenge. Comma. Ab aapko index ka bhi returns lena hai. So E4 semicolon control shift down. Again, you'll have to stop at E253. Close the bracket. So that is the covariance. That is the covariance of the stock and the market. Likewise, you need to calculate the denominator as well, which is the variance of the market. So the variance of the market would be variance P. 
So to start from here and go down till E two fifty three. Close the bracket. All right, close the bracket. So you have the covariance, you have the variance. Now all you need to do is divide both of them to figure out the beta. So let us do that. Is equal to covariance divided by the variance. So we have a beta of point eight seven. We have a beta of point eight seven, which suggests that. In case when the stock goes up by ten percent, I would expect my. In case when the index goes up by ten percent, I would expect my stock to go up by eight point seven percent. So that is how the relationship is. Ah, uh, it is a little less riskier compared to the index itself. One ka beta hai matlab index jitna hi risk hai. One se zyada beta hai matlab index se zyada risk hai. One se kam beta hai matlab index se thoda sa kam risk hai. All right. so this is the beta of one of the stocks that we talked about likewise i have the list of all the 50 stocks of nifty 50 and at the very same time which industry they belong to aur unka beta kya kya hai unka beta kya kya hai so i have highlighted some of them so maine high beta stocks ko red color se highlight kiya hua hai aur maine low beta stocks ko green color se highlight kiya hua hai aur jo neutral jaisa hai usko highlight hi nahi kiya usko black hi rehne diya All right, so you can see that green is for low beta stocks, red is for high beta stocks, and black is for at par. All right, now see whenever you are creating your portfolio, आप जब भी अपना portfolio बना रहे हो और मान लो कि आप Nifty Fifty में से ही कुछ stocks select कर रहे हो, then look out for the beta of these stocks. Say for example, अगर आपने एक portfolio बनाया है जिसमें Bajaj Finance है, Bajaj Finsav है. एक्सिस बैंक है यू हैव ग्रेसिम इंडस्ट्रीज और यू हैव हिंडालको इंडस्ट्रीज अगर आप ऐसे स्टॉक्स का बीटा बना रहे हो आईसीआईसीआई बैंक है तो नो डाउट अपसाइड में मे बी आपको रिटर्न ज्यादा मिले बट जब चीजें खराब होगी तो डाउन साइड भी आपको ही ज्यादा फेस करना पड़ेगा और डाउन साइड भी आपको ही ज्यादा फेस करना पड़ेगा सो हेंस फोर्थ आई एम नॉट सींग दैट यू शुड नॉट बी हैविंग हाई बीटा स्टॉक्स इन योर पोर्टफोलियो बट है बैलेंस ऑफ बोथ है बैलेंस ऑफ बोथ सो दैट द वेटेड एवरेज beta of your entire portfolio say for example agar aap panch stocks select kar rahe ho theek hai to panchon stocks agar select kar rahe ho to ek stock ka weighted ho jayega 20% to weighted average nikaliye wo beta kitna aa raha hai usko dekhiye theek hai hence forth you will try to know that what is the beta for your entire portfolio that would give you a very good picture if that beta is going up to as high as 1.3 1.4 that is not a very good indicator from the perspective of risk because wahan pe risk jo hai aapka bahut hi badh jata hai कल को अगर इंडेक्स टेन परसेंट यहां से टूट गया देन योर स्टॉक माइट और योर पोर्टफोलियो राधर माइट फॉल बाय फोर्टीन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट इज हाउट इज हाउर थिंग वर्क दैट इज हाउट दर थिंग वर्क आउट और इट सो क्रिएट अ पोर्टफोलियो विद लो बीटा दिस इज हाउ वी कैन टॉक अबाउट बीटा लाइक वाइज देर आर मल्टीपल रिस्क पैरामीटर दैट वी मस्ट नो वेल वी क्रिएट आर पोर्टफोलियो थैंक यू